hey guys happy new year to you all welcome back to my channel today i am going to show you how i make jamaican sorry cake in a my kitchen so forward let me show you what i'm going in the pot i have three cups of water you don't need any more water than this to make the sorry puree I will be using three cups of sorrel. The sorrel is kind of dry, but it's okay. When it's dry or it's fresh, it's still the same sorrel, so it can make the cake. I will be using cinnamon extract to add into the water with the sorrel. If you have the cinnamon stick, you could go ahead and use it. Now I'm adding half a teaspoon of cinnamon extract to the pot now i'm stirring it and then i'm going to add the sorrel and cover it and let it come to a boil when it comes to a boil i'm going to put out the flame and allow it to cool down for about three to four hours or you could do this overnight my sorrel has cooled down so now i'm going to add it into the blender from this sorrel I will get one and three quarter cups of puree so now when I'm adding it to the blender I will add only half a cup of the sour juice because the less juice you add the thicker your puree will be With the leftover juice please do not waste it add your sugar your rum whatever you want to add to it and make your sour juice my sour puree is finished so i am going to set it aside and move on to the rest of the ingredients I will be using three quarters of a stick of butter you could you also use margarine so here I'm just using the wooden spoon to kind of crush it it is room temperature but I want to ensure that it is soft enough now I'm adding it now I'm adding sorry the brown sugar soft brown sugar so to get the soft brown sugar you could add your sugar into the blender Add a tablespoon of cornstarch or corn flour just to let it come together. Then, after it's turned into soft sugar, you could add some molasses to get it into the dark brown color it has now. So, here I am just creaming the sugar and the butter. I am going to cream the sugar and the butter for about five minutes. I am using medium speed. At 10 just stop and you scrape down the size of the bowl so that it will be fully combined with the sugar and the butter. Now it's all done. Look how creamy that looks. I will be using 3 eggs. So I'm going to add one at a time. Ensure that you remove the eyes from the eggs. Also, before you add the eggs into the butter and the sugar, you could add a tablespoon of lime juice or lemon juice and half a teaspoon of the zest from it. You could also use orange zest also. Or you can add the zest and the juice after you finish adding the eggs with the butter and sugar so here I'm adding half a teaspoon of orange zest if you don't have an electric mixer or a stand mixer you could use a wooden spoon to cream the butter and the sugar here I am adding my sorrel puree Ensure that you scrape out your bowl guys, do not leave any of it in it because you need all of it. Now you're going to stir it properly 
so that it will be fully combined in the mixture my blended fruits which is one cup one teaspoon of vanilla one teaspoon mixed spice half a teaspoon cinnamon extract three teaspoons of red food coloring if you like you could skip the food coloring and use more cereal since i use three cups of the petals you could use six that way you will get three cups of the puree at first i added two teaspoons just to see if it would reach if it would reach the color that i desired but it did not so i'm adding one more teaspoon now i am sifting the dry ingredients i will be using two cups of all purpose flour two tablespoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt at first i added one and a half cups of flour then i decided to add another half cup Now I'm going to mix the butter. I am doing the cut and fold method. one third cup of fruit wine you could add white rum or you could add the red rum but i chose to use the fruit wine because i don't really want a lot of alcohol in mine because i want it to be kids friendly but you know it's up to you which one you want to use my butter is finished mixing so i am going to add it to the prepared pan cake pan my cake tin is eight inches i greased my cake tin with oil i greased the bottom the sides properly with oil then i added parchment paper at the bottom you could also use butter or you can just use the oil alone or you could add the oil and dust some flour in it and then you add your butter but ensure that you grease your tin very well shake your tin to remove air bubbles then you're going to add it into your prepared oven and bake for one to one and a half hours a toothpick inserted into your cake and it comes all clean shows that your cake is baked after the cake cools down you're going to clear the edges using a knife then you're going to remove it from the tin gently turn over your cake on the other side so that you don't break it so now I'm going to cut a slice and let you see how moist it is. From my kitchen to yours, I present to you how I make Jamaican sour cake in my kitchen. So guys, please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. Please tell a friend and let a friend tell a friend what's happening over here.